सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोन टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ थ्री डी बेल आइकन इन ब्लेंडर सो विदाउट एनी फॉर दिले नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट टूटोरियल एंड हेर यू कैन सी गाइज दैट आई कैन लुक समथिंग लाइक दैट सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट इट टूटोरियल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट फाइल एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल जस्ट इनेबल माई शॉर्टकट वी आर सो यू गाइज कैन ईजिली सी विच की एम प्रेसिंग ऑन दी लेफ्ट हैंड साइड so first of all I will just delete this uh, default cube and here I'm just gonna add one uh, cylinder here basically okay I'm just add one cylinder I will just go to my front view and uh, I'm just gonna edit mode of this cylinder then I'm just gonna delete the bottom face of this cylinder and then I will just enable my uh, x-ray mode and I'm just gonna select my bottom faces and I'm just gonna scale it little bit something like that and I'm just gonna select the top vertices as well will just move little bit upside something like that i'm just going to scale it something like that i think that much scale is look nice to me yeah that's look great so first of all what i'm going to do i'm just going to create a top part of this bell so i will just select the whole what i see something like that i have already selected and i'm just going to press the control b for the bevel these what i see and i'm just going to scroll it down i mean scroll it up and here you can see we have lots of what i see in between both what i see yeah this that look something like that yeah so here you can see we have that kind of round shape here and which is look nice and after that i'm just gonna add one modifier to adding the thickness into our bell so i will just use the solidify modifier and i'm just gonna increase the thickness something like that and that much thickness is look nice to me but right now here you can see we can't see the flat area here basically uh, if i'm just going to my front view so here you can see we have little bump uh part here and which is we don't want basically so we want the flat area so for creating the flat area what i'm going to do i'm just going to change this solidify mode as a complex mode and we'll just change the boundary as a flat so now here you can see we have a perfectly flat boundaries here and which is look nice by the way all right so here you can see we have a basic structure of the bell now i'm just going to right click of this bell structure and i will just do shade smooth okay and after that we'll just go to our uh, normal section i'm just going to enable my auto smooth so now here you can see we have a good smooth faces here and which is look nice now i'm just going to add the one uh, uv sphere basically here and i'm just going to scale it a little bit down something like that i'm just going to keep it little bit down and i will also apply the scale first of all then i'm just going to edit mode of this uh, uv sphere and i will also enable my x ray mode so we can see behind this bell so i'm just going to select the one middle vertices of this uv sphere and then i'm just going to press the control plus something like that and after that i will just press the three for the face mode then i'm just going to extrude this part something like that and we'll just extrude it continuously here and after that i'm just going to scale this part to make this area flat and make sure you just set this z value to zero so i'm just going to touch this part little bit up yeah something like that and that's look nice by the way all right and i'm just going to also right click and do shade smooth and same thing i will do i will just enable the auto smooth from here so now here you can see we have a smooth area also here and which is look nice then after that what i'm going to do i'm just going to add one uh, torus here and then i'm just going to change the align as a view and we'll just scale it down i'm just going to keep it here basically and i'm just going to do right click and shade is smooth and which is look nice by the way so all right guys here you can see we have a 3d bell icon and which is look nice by the way i'm just going to scale it little bit more of this bottom part yeah something like that and i will also apply the scale yeah, that's look nice by the way and we can also scale this part little bit yeah i think that's look also nice so after creating this model we'll just add the uh, little shader into our bell basically so i'm just going to select this bell and after that i'm just going to select my material panel and i will just create a new material and we'll just change the color little bit yellowish and from here i'm just going to increase the metallic value to 0 to 1 and we'll just uh, increase little bit roughness value i think that's look nice and now i'm just going to select the So now I'm just going to select this bottom object and top object also then after that I'm just going to select this main bell part and we'll just do control L and we'll just do make link as a material now here you can see we'll just get the same material to bottom and top part also and after that I'm just going to set one camera view for this I'm just going to set this camera view right now and after that I'm just going to unlock my camera from here and we'll just create a one camera view 
I think this camera view is look nice to me and after adding the camera view I'm just gonna lock this camera then I'm just gonna add one light from the bottom of this uh, bell basically so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna rotate this light to the bottom side something like that and we'll just move it a little bit down side we'll just scale it and we'll just increase this value to 50 something like that and we'll also duplicate this light on the top part also something like that i'm just gonna rotate it again and keep it here i think that's look nice now i'm just gonna move into my camera view so now here you can see we have a perfect bell icon here so i'm just gonna take one render and let's see how it's look like in the final view if you don't know how to take an image render so you can just go to render and click the render image so all right guys here you can see we have successfully created a bell 3d icon here and which is look nice by the way and that's very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you guys so i hope guys you enjoyed this video and you learn something new today so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys